Hello, welcome to C Memory Allocation for short, malloc and free. Okay, today we are going to discuss more on that. I will explain more on it for you. So, what is malloc and free? Okay, malloc and free are functions in the C standard library that are used to dynamically allocate and deallocate memory. Malloc for short is memory allocation. It is a function that is used to request a block of memory from the operating system. It takes a single argument, which is the size of the memory of the block of memory that is being requested. If the request is successful, malloc returns a pointer to the start of the block of memory. Why the free and on the other hand, is a function that is used to deallocate memory from being previously allocated by malloc. It takes a single argument, which is a pointer to start of the block of memory. That is, the be, that is being deallocated. After the memory has been freed, it take, it can be used to or oh, it can be used by other parts of the program. So the other part of the program can use it when the memory is being free, right? Both malloc and free are commonly used in C programming, C programming to manage dynamic memory allocated, allocation, which allow a program to allocate and deallocate block of memory, which I've explained in, in as needed at runtime okay they are useful for a situation where we we where the amount of memory is needed by a program and it's not known at compile time so it can help to improve the performance of the program by reducing the amount of memory that is unnecessarily allocated so what are the key points of this uh, malloc and uh, and uh, free in C. So malloc is a function, as I explained, that is requested that is requesting a block of memory from the operating system. It takes a single argument, which is the size of the, the the memory being requested. Okay, if it is if the request is successful, the malloc returns a pointer to the starter of the block memory. Okay, the same thing with the free. So we will quickly now jump into the number one question. We will now answer the question. So I believe I will, I will, I will make sure to uh, explain everything in text form. And I will drop the link in Google Doc so that you can read for more of your understanding. Okay. So uh, let me quickly go to the quiz question. This question says, how many bytes will this statement allocate? You can see now, malloc size of character how many is character remember that character in its sense a character has a many uh, what, what, what was the the, the 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 size of a single character do you understand so if the size of a single character is just one one so you can say the statement is allocating 11 bytes why this the this the, the size of character will return the size of a single character in bytes format right which is a typically which is typically one okay sorry i i live close to school so that's why you're hearing those sound sorry i'm apologies so uh, multi uh, multiplying that one by 10 will give us 10 bytes for a character for the characters right for the characters and adding a single one to this we allocate if you, are, if you are adding a, adding one to this, we allocate an additional one byte, resulting to a total of a level. So, by the way, if you see here, if there's anything, okay, there's a level. So, you can see. So, it's already 10 plus 1. It's already 10. The character is, a, each character, each character here is 1, okay? is 1 size. Yeah? The size is 1 bit. Then when you multiply 1 bit, by 10 is what it's going to give you 10 right then you add one again it's going to give you 11. do we understand that then how many bits will be allocated how many bits will this statement allocate yeah as you can see now 
this state, this malloc is there is no there is no type attached to it. As you can see, there is no type attached to it. So the statement will allocate 10 bytes. Then the malloc function will allocate a specific number of bytes. Requesting in this case will be 10 bytes. So the answer is what? 10 bytes. Okay. That is our answer. Then what's the next question? Next question say how many bytes will this statement allocate? Remember that what this the, the remember this malloc. This uh, sorry, this character is what is one and multiply one by what 10. What would be your answer? If you multiply one by 10, what would be your answer? Your 10 will be your, your answer will still be 10 characters. Okay, so the answer will still be 10. I hope you understand it. I will drop uh, the content. If it cannot go on in my in my description, I will put it as a tech uh, a Google Doc document so that you can read and understand more. So how many bytes will this statement allocate? What is an unsigned integer? What is the size of an unsigned integer? Do you remember it? Yes. If you remember it, it's typically four, right? So the statement will allocate eight bits. Why? Because the size of unsigned integer will return the size of, of an unsigned integer in bits, okay? Which is typically four, okay? Then when you multiply this, when, it, when, when you multiply the four, when you multiply the four with, uh, when you multiply the four, with the two here will give you what it will give you eight okay so how many bits will the statement allocate with this integer remember i just said it this is four uh, the integer is four okay on sign is also four right so on sign is four so it will give you eight bits why uh integer is also four so when you say four times ten what would be the answer would be 40 Okay, how many bits will this allocate in this uh, this statement? It's still the same thing. Four. Uh, this is four, and when you multiply four by four, is what is sixteen, right? Are we are we in the same page? If you have any question, let me know. To be sixteen. Then what is? Then the next question says, what is Vag Valgrain? What is Valgrain? Is it a container? No. What is it? Um, it is a tool that is used to detect memory leaks and other memory related in uh, related errors in C programming. It is particularly used to detect issues that are not immediately apparent, such as memory that has been allocated but never freed, or memory that has been accessed after it has been freed. Okay, Vagrind works as instru uh, uh, instrumenting instrumenting the program code to track memory usage at runtime and then provide a detailed report of an issues that are detected. It, it is widely used in the development of C programming to ensure that to ensure that they are freed of memory allocated error so with all that i've explained what do you think the answer would be you can hear me say memory allocate memory allocate memory, memory allocate so i guess this is the answer so let's check and see if our answer is correct if it's not correct we'll go back and debug together fantastic so it's correct so thank you very much ensure that you subscribe drop that like share the content let's help one another to grow you know understand so if you subscribe you will get you will get the content on real time as i'm dropping it and you encourage me to do the video on time and so that we all can benefit that's why my schedule you can see i'm doing other work but i still have to try and so i would we'll get back to you on this um essay on, the, on these stacks okay thank you very much i will have to stop now my son is back from school <laughs> have a blessed day thank you subscribe peace